Method number four. We call it second factorial method. It also involves factorial, therefore we call it second factorial method. If we have a plus b to the n, it equals to n factorial or 0 into n minus 0 factorial into a to the n times b to the naught plus n factorial or 1 into n minus 1 factorial times a to the n minus 1 times b to the 1 plus n factorial or 2 into n minus 2 factorial times a to the n minus 2 times b squared plus n factorial or 3 into n minus 3 factorial times a to the n minus 3 times b cubed plus so on. You can increase more terms like n factorial or r into n minus r factorial times a to the 1 times b to the n minus 1 plus a to the 0 times b to the n. Everything is the same. The difference is only here. This is the difference. For the coefficient we have different expression compared to method number 3. Therefore, we call it second factorial method. Whether you use this expression for the coefficient or this expression for the coefficient, you will get the same value of the coefficient. This 0, 1, 2 is my r. It starts from 0 like 0 here and 0 here because I have r into n minus r, r into n minus r. So it starts from 0 and then 0 here and then 1, 1 and then 2, 2 and then 3, 3, and so on. This n is the value of n, whatever value you have for the power of n. You just have to plug in that value for this yellow n. The rest of the powers for the a and b are absolutely the same as we have in method 1, method 2, and method 3. The power of a starts in descending on the right side. Like we have a to the n minus 0, and then minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. The power of b starts from 0, like 0 and then 1 and then 2 and then 3. It goes in ascending order on the right side. The power of a is in descending order on the right side because it decreases by 1, while the power of b is in ascending order on the right side. It increases by 1. So the difference between method 3 and method 4 is only the expression of the coefficients. You will get the same value of the coefficient. It's just the different way that we have written the expression for the coefficient. Nothing more than this.